Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today we are going to talk about the intelligence round of Miss Earth 2019 which is one of the most important event in Miss Earth and if you do well here then there's a really huge possibility that you will qualify in the first cut of Miss Earth 2019 and today let me just say that there's a lot of very very intelligent women competing at this edition of Miss Earth 2019 it was I think less than seven hours for this round and I have watched everyone and many did impress me but I have only, but I have only selected my personal top 12 and here are my basis in selecting this top 12 number one would be the content of their responses it's very important that what's inside their message are really hitting the bullseye number two confidence in delivering number three would be the speaking ability and i really don't like the too much ums in interviews i don't like that number four i also consider the tone of voice and the volume of the voice they need to speak very well in a well modulated voice so that everyone could hear and by number five personality is everything because no matter how smart you are if the delivery is boring it still wouldn't do well so again before i will present my top 12 i would, I would like to commend everyone for doing an excellent job but here's my top 12 starting with my number 12 new zealand tashan kapine new zealand looked really stunning and all throughout this competition she has delivered quite some decent performances and for this round i love how formal she looked and she looked great in it next i also love how modulated her voice is it has the right volume it is audible and understandable i also love her politeness which is very very consistent in the entire interview round i commend her confidence and her intelligence her questions are mostly out of nowhere and it includes her opinion about bringing own newton cells about her most important weapon i think that the last question was about mate and i think she did so well in all those questions my number 11 is chile fernanda mendez tapia chile is another lady who truly impressed me during this interview she looked very very sweet based on how she looked and how she delivered her responses aside from that her contribution of planting more than 1000 trees i think is very impressive because if i was one of the jury i would be impressed impressed by that and i would give her credit and additional points for that impressive work just by listening to her you can really feel that she's serious in working for the environment which made her a great representation of Ms. earth and someone who is as serious as sweet and as hard hardworking as chile deserves to be rewarded with a placement my number 10 is colombia jenny carillo first of all she looked beautiful and regal during this round what i appreciate about colombia is that you can really feel that sincerity and genuine emotion when she speaks and answer different questions i also commend her for trying her best to speak in english and although it takes some few seconds to find some appropriate words i love her honesty about about it and making sure that every word that she will be using is appropriate she is she's really an intelligent woman and her personality and beauty just shines at this round my number nine is south africa nazia wadi this is the candidate that i'm expecting to do well in interviews and i am very very glad she did deliver in this round and she exceeded my expectations so much she is not only beautiful but she is so smart she is so well spoken and the the way she started answering questions and giving her answers were just so strong especially content wise the last question i didn't really get it but based on how she delivered her answer well i have no words just impressed my number eight is canada matea henderson Canada is so intelligent and well-spoken. What I love about her is that she has traveled to many countries, which is why she always has so much more to share. And the question about filtration system and water shortage, she answered it in the best way possible. I also adore her personality, especially when she was asked about her wishes and she responded 
taking home the Miss Earth crown. I like that. This is such a great game changer for Canada and I surely hope this will be enough for her to get a placement in the finals. My number 7 is Venezuela, Michelle Roxana. This is what separates Venezuela from other countries when it comes to question and answer or interview round. Aside from the very obvious fact that she looked really really, really beautiful during that interview round, her personality and confidence is unbeatable and it just shines. I love the questions being given to her because most of the questions are just personal so it doesn't really require some very technical and over-the-top answers which is why she was able to express herself very very well and again her smile is contagious her personality is adorable and I love it when she seems like she doesn't want to stop the interview well even I myself is enjoying watching her at that round. My number six is Spain. Sonia Hernandez. I really like how Spain sounded so genuine and natural when speaking in front of the judges. I also loved how she looked at this round. She really prepared for it. She looked really stunning and I love how she is answering the questions. I love her smile. I love her personality. Loved her way of answering as if she is really having conversation with everyone eye to eye and heart to heart. And I am also enjoying her hand gestures it was just a great great round for Spain and honestly with this performance I can even see her as a possible winner of this competition my number five is Ghana Abina Apia I love Ghana's look during this round I really love the white top with those huge sleeves it worked on her and I love how she paired it with a gold skirt Ghana also gave a very, very solid and smart responses. And what made her stand out against other ladies is her personality and confidence in delivering and carrying this interview until it finished. It is very obvious as well that everyone in that room was very satisfied with her responses and her presence because she's got one of the loudest applause when she finished her interview. My number four is United States, Imani Davis. USA looked really, really stunning with a very simple styling. I love her introduction. I love her tone and volume when she speaks. I love how she changes the tone from time to time to avoid sounding monotonous, and that's genius. I love her responses as well, especially when she said, no, we can force everyone to be vegan. I like that. When she also speaks about moderation of everything, admitting that she is not a vegan herself, and the importance of awareness, I just love everything every component of her answer it was simple direct to the point and super loaded when it comes to content this is one of her strengths and i am not surprised to see her do well deliver and she delivered with great personality and confidence with this performance i can truly smell the placement for united states this year without any hint of doubt. My number three is Thailand. Tia Parsretri Suvarna. She came out looking stunning with her blue dress, which resembles a Filipino national wear for women. But what happened later on was more impressive. She started with an introduction of herself and a speech, and she sounded so sweet. And I don't really like her that much before, but the more she speaks about herself, the more I am starting to like her. And when she talked about how they turned plastics into different materials like t-shirts, swimwears, and even her dress, which is made of more than 60 plastic bottles, I myself was wowed and applauding while watching the interview. I mean, she and her team and their works was just impressive. It is very obvious that everyone in the room was impressed with what she did, with what they are doing. I also like how she ended her speech by giving a message about promoting their project with the Philippines and other countries, Asian countries, to promote recycling of plastics, which I think is a perfect way to end that amazing time with her. My number two is England, Stephanie Wyatt. She is an environmental lawyer, and I think it really helped her a lot to sail through this round easily, and she did it in her best way possible. Aside from the fact that she looked stunning and her styling is great, 
great. The way she carried herself and delivery of her responses is filled with confidence, conviction, and intelligence. And come on, talking about Ms. Earth, I mean Mother Earth, existing for 4.5 billion years ago and humans for 140,000 years and compressing it into 24 hours, which made the human existence for just three seconds. Oh my goodness, just by listening to that, that is intelligence accompanied by realistic data at its finest. And that is just super impressive. And she delivered it continuously like she knows it for a long time. With this impressive performance, I have a feeling that we might be seeing England in the semifinals. And my number one favorite and the strongest, I believe, at this round, the intelligence round of Ms. Earth 2019 is India, the Jaswini Manogna. I just love how she came in with a simple dress, simple look, and she looked naturally beautiful as well. And everything about her look worked together and complemented each other. She is a candidate who aced all questions and gave an outstanding answer from connecting her profession to her environmental advocacy i really love how solid and strong the content of her response is plus she is very convincing in answering the question next the question about diversity i mean biodiversity and her response is just impressive i love how she compared it to how delicate biodiversity is like the web and if one strand is gone, everything will crumble. It is a really strong start and she finished strongly. And finally, the third question about the increasing population of India. I am so impressed at how she responded with a realistic answer about the use of natural resources. But I am amazed at how she turned it into something positive and using the growing population as a positive thing. I mean, I was just amazed after that interview and I am sure everyone who were listening was amazed as well. So that's it. These are my top 12 favorites. I mean, there's a lot of ladies that did well, but these are the 12 who truly impressed me during this intelligence round. So these are my top 12 favorites. And in a day or two, I will be releasing my final prediction for Ms. Earth 2019 because the three important events are, are already done. So I'll be spending the next days reviewing it again. And oh my gosh, creating my final 15, which I believe is very, very difficult knowing how amazing this batch is. So what do you think? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of this videos in the future. So for now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.